that one and strikes out one of the best hitters on the Spartans ball club. That's exactly the kind of confidence Bruce McKeegan wants. Gets a hold of that one. In center is Ehlers. Ehlers tracks it down. Gets a hold of that one. Ehlers again on the search as he tracks it down. And it is out of the park. Evan Keegan able to put one away there and just like that Spartans up 1-0 with a swing of the bat. Keegan was McKeegan was cruising through the inning with a strikeout and a pop out. I am. And that one cleanly passed Beyon and Barnes. Another one Spartans are able to get a hold of this time right between Ehlers and Hudson. Neither of them able to get to that. Another one that a Castleton Spartan is able to get a hold of. And Eaton makes a slide out in deep right, but that ball is past him as yet another run comes in to score off the double from the designated hitter, Boyle. Another one into the outfield. It lands, Eaton unable to track it down. Plates yet another runner. And they call it a strike as Keen State lets five up after two easy outs. We will be back on the Owls Media Network. Barnes gets a hold of that one. In between left center, it gets down for a base hit. Dion gets a hold of that one. And it drops down. Beyond winding to third. In there easily, Josh Beyond with a triple that brings in Jonathan Chatfield to make it 5-1. Grounded to McHugh. Barnes able to get in front of it instead of McHugh and forced the double play. Impressive job by Barnes there, sliding into that one and forcing two. Grounds into that one. DeCastro over to Keegan, but Keegan unable to scoop that one out. Verano heads to second. Gets a hold of that one. After a diving attempt by Perkins, it gets past him. Dush has to pick it up in center field, bobbles it a little, and a double pushes one home. And makes him strike out. Great work there from Schleyhuber. Three straight strikes. Swings and misses, and another strikeout recorded for Joe Schleyhuber. Swings through that one, putting McLean away, who's got just the one out so far. And Keegan belts that one between first and second, and it's able to drive a run in as DeCastro makes it to third as well. As that one gets driven down the third baseline, Hudson comes in to pick it up, but it's going to push across two runners as uh, Cardozo. Drives in two in what's now going to be an 8-2 ball game. As he gets a hold of that one. Grounded in front of Eaton and it gets past Eaton and that's going to bring two runners home. As Boyle gets to third. A triple pushing home two runs makes it 10-2 for Castleton. I just got word it's still definitely raining out there as that is drilled left center. Great job there by Dush, able to push it to two possibly. And he does. A sell down, watch what comes towards him. And that time he does, as that's over the second baseman. Verano with a single to lead off. Clean, puts away Boyle.
gets a hold of that one. Over Dush's head as he circles for two. That one gets him in it. Puts away Cabasso. Good bounce back strike out there for Brennan. Swings and misses through that one. 18-2. And swings and misses through that one to retire it. Keene State falls 18-2 here.